everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today's video is about something that's been really helping me recently with practicing and just in life in general. I've been getting back into bullet journaling, which is something I started a few years ago but just never kind of stuck with it. And now I find myself with a little more time than usual uh, that I wanted to kind of get back into it. So I've been watching videos and then trying to figure out how to organize my life and then now my practicing. Um, so I decided to kind of make a practice journal slash bullet journal theme every week and to help me keep organized in what I practice, how long I practice it, and kind of keep track of what I've been doing. I really find this helpful because I can keep track and it just keeps me motivated to practice because I don't know about you, but motivation can be sometimes hard to find. I like this because it also helps me with my creative creative chooses. I like uh, creating, I like doodling, I like writing things down. So I don't know if you're like me, but I really find it kind of uh, helpful in kind of getting out my, my thoughts and just kind of organizing my day when I have no control over really anything else. So anyways, I hope you enjoy. I'm just gonna show you kind of what I've been doing and how I'm kind of organizing it and maybe something will help you. I like to organize and plan my practice sessions in the morning with a cup of coffee. I look at what I worked on the day before and I use that information to help me know what to focus on for each piece or section of a piece. This gives a structure to my practice so I don't just flounder around and practice pieces randomly. I write my focus of today's practice which again helps me not to just play the violin but improve or practice more efficiently. My focus can obviously change depending on what happens during my practice, but this is a good place to start. I also use this time to look at my to-do list for the day and plan what times I want to practice, schedule in breaks, where I can relax, go for a run, or check something off my list. So here you can see my practice journal weekly spread. I'm using the Lesch Term 1917. I got it a few years ago. I probably wouldn't buy it again as you can kind of see the bleed through or see through from the other previous page. But I'm determined that I'm going to finish this journal before I buy another journal. This is how I've decided to organize my practice journal for this week. I'm still tweaking it, but I'm fairly happy with it so far. Here's a quote, which is kind of fun. Technique, which I've broken down into different sections, and then I write how long I've practiced each. I've been finding this really helpful the past week and have seen already improvements in my left hand especially. I think it's really important to work on basics right now as there's not many concerts coming up or in the near future. And I think it's a really good time to build up areas that you might have uh, you might be weaker in. Here I have a section for goals, what I want to accomplish this week. I've been trying to record once a week and so I gave myself some space so I can write in the notes from that. Here I've broken it into different days and at the top of each day I have focus what I want to kind of plan my practice around and then I write down what I want to practice and then notes or things that I've noticed from that practice. Then I write down how long I want to practice and then when I practice, I check it off. And at the end of the practice session, I have a place to reflect of what went well, what I noticed and maybe something to focus on for the next practice. You can use this probably for any hobby. I just decided to work on my consistency in practicing and I'm really excited just to really have this accountability and just really focus on building up weaker areas. And lastly, I have this place to put how long I've practiced. This is purely for me, for motivation and again, to make myself or just to, yeah, motivate myself to practice. So this has been very helpful for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any suggestions about how you're organizing your practice, please comment below. I'd love to see it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, see you next time.